Dude. Radar. She's talking so much. Oh, she's so happy. Wait, Pat, no, Mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Let's see. Just mouse over all of them and all. Pop out one. Wait, what was that one that said? How she said? Oh, uh, why does this one work? They haven't even talked about kidnapping it. I guess they mentioned it barely once. And this should activate a lot of them because it's the Queen Carrier oh. shit. Yeah, that's how I felt. I was like, dude, they barely mentioned this shit. What's going I know on? he's trying to not spoil shit, but like, don't mention something that's like was barely mentioned in passing. You know, like, it needs to be like specific event. So we know the events of everything. We're just seeing the detail. Let me take this. Ah, I'm sick of being sick. Ah. And those shavers coming tomorrow. I need to shave, man. I'll get all itchy soon. Saber's coming tomorrow? Oh. We're both thinking too much about fate, man. Too far gone. You're too far gone. I need my shavers, man. The dollar shave club thing. I save a couple bucks and get shavers I can cross not to cut me the fuck up. Oh, but the only one I got left in there is a... I don't think I've used it, man. Maybe, I don't know. It's a not totally fresh I have some shitty one. Choice wisdom for you, my boy. You don't have to grind any events. But you do. You don't. It's coded into your DNA that you have to grind Fago events. No. Once you actually play the game, it activates your the chemicals that almonds. make you do it. And your almonds. The almond flavoring. Don't worry fast. Give it a week and you get to grind another one then. Oh yeah. Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You gonna buy me some chocolate go to No yeah. <laughs> but Oh. Yeah, dude, that's the best part about playing it is I can get to talk about how bad it is every time something happens. It's gonna be great. I'm just deciding if I want to do one roll on uh, Bride or two rolls. 
Oh, God damn it! You have two macros folders. Did you do both? What? You have two macros folders. Did you do both? Oh, do I have two? Yeah. Hmm. I doubt I did both. I didn't realize there was two. Fuck. Well, hold off. I have things I'm doing. Hang on. I have Macross Plus. Possibly this Monday. I mean, I'd assume it's going to be timed. Hey. What? Get back to the game. Don't you worry about this shit right now. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. Big deal to me. But, um... <laughs> They're Blade Runner soundtrack. It is indeed, brother. You got me, man. I enjoy a good soundtrack. Man. <laughs> the music police. Policia! My favorite soundtrack is a nice hot slice of Papa John's pizza. <laughs> Delicious. Nutritious. Grumdiddlyicious. Yeah, I assume it's gonna be like right after the double XP. Or the <laughs> double XP. I might play too much fucking Call of Duty or <laughs> some the half XP quest. We'll see though. Yeah, the Blade Runner soundtracks are pretty great though. It's nice. Well, this is probably going to start the through day death bullshit, which I think lets us domino a lot of these events. I just didn't know we could do this tip yet. I guess they're not tips, they're like fragments or whatever. Smoothie, she jazz or orchestral? Uh, neither. Oh no, what is it? It's, uh, anything, it's, uh, it's not like traditional Japanese, but it uses some things like that. It's very unique. It's a, I mean, the whole show is super like, Calm and chill, so it's kind of like I've seen it. a Part mix of, of naturey sounds and like traditional Japanese instruments. It's Interest little, denied. A little bit of percussion shit. I don't know. It's good. It's got some really chill stuff. It's great. I like it. I mean, the in instruments it uses, I guess, would be more real. It's not like electronic or jazz or nothing. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate Mushishi, dude. And I keep the soundtrack around <laughs> just so I can remember how bad it is. More like mushy shit. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, I was, I was hoping you were gonna go with the shit. Yeah, Gosling was great, man. I mean, I like Mr. Ryan Gosling either way, but it was, uh. did good work, man. I don't know, that was great. I, I, I don't know how well that did in the box office. I don't credit I heard it, it didn't well. do very well at all. Which sucks because it was so good, man. I mean, uh, yeah, move shit. I haven't seen it, but I'll see it eventually, and I'm sure it'll be very nice. Yeah. I should rewatch the original Blade Runner. I watched that like years ago. It's worth doing for sure. It is a sequel, so. Wouldn't hurt to brush up. I don't know. I don't know why people wouldn't be interested. Like, even just at the cover, it looks interesting. Maybe something else released around it. Maybe they just didn't market it well. I mean, if you don't like it, just from personal taste, sure. But, I mean, you don't know if you like it or not until you see it. So, I don't think that has much to do with it.
Yeah. For sure, man. Solid stuff. We'll leave it at that, I guess. Oh, I can watch it. Then the next five years or whatever it's gonna take. Fucking controller disconnecting. Yeah, I'd like to see more movies like that, but... You know, some more cape shit, baby. Instead... Oh, they know about the disease, man. Wow. I want to see more, like, Psycho Rika. I like her face when she's, like, slam jamming on some people. Do you enjoy how in episode six, Rena was like fucking insane and going on and on about like parasites and dumb shit, and Rika she outright calls the parasites idea like a B movie thing, but then he actually does it. I do like it because I enjoy it. I like it because he makes so many situations work, and then makes you believe that they don't work, and then they do work still. Uh, I just like that he, like, leads you on and, like... Dude, this guy just subbed to you. He's dude, I see his star now, man. My man, the doggy. The doggy dog! It's a doggy dog world. Doggy, doggy. Thank you for the sub, brother. <coughs> what a generous soul. I don't know. That's probably the best part of this is I feel like it's it's pretty finely crafted stuff with how all the mysteries kind of can work together with all these different plots and stuff and theories and from like a theory crafting standpoint I don't know it's kind of whatever but like that he can write up all this like these different events that happen to make them all believable it's cool like, I can think up a lot more theories for, like, Umi Neko, but for this one, there's there's not that many, but the stuff they do put out, they're always second-guessing, so it's cool. And the subs will keep on coming. <laughs> and they'll keep on coming. God, now I need to play some Kingdom Hearts. Ah, oh, I forgot I gotta... Kingdom Hearts 3 might come out this year, so I gotta, I gotta catch up with the series now that they all have console releases. And they'll keep on coming. Like, I can't theorycraft as hard as in Chaos Child. There's not as many theories to even think about. But I like how he does subvert expectations a lot. It's not, definitely not like some babby mystery. It's nice. <laughs> Save the Queen Plus. I remember you fucking. You were upset. Uh, I felt bad. Yeah, I was thinking about replaying through 2, I was going to play 2.5, Final Mix or whatever, but I don't know if it'll be worth the 40 hours or whatever it would take. I might just go do the Birth by Sleep and the 3DS ones and stuff. But I don't know. I replayed 1 on Final Mix, which was really fucking difficult, so I was like, why not? Theorycraft more in Chaos Child? I mean, I guess you could. I just feel like... <sighs> maybe it's maybe it's not that the amount you can theorycraft, it's the amount I care to theorycraft. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, pro I, I guess I was wrong there, I was trying to explain it, but... CC was more wild speculation. See, I had a lot of, like, reasons and shit in CC, though. 
And this I have reasons, but there's so much unreliable shit, I'm just like, oh. Like, I got theories, but it's kind of fun just to see where the game tries to make you think of something, and then it tells you it's not that way, but it works so well, you know. I don't know. I was also just more into the CC mystery than this one. Not that I'm not into the game or the mystery at all, but... Maybe it just has something to do with the amount of shit you have to work with. Because that was kind of going back to what we were talking about yesterday with Umineko and shit. It's like, you just have so much to work with. That there's less focus and I feel like it makes it harder to like care about theorycraft in, in some situations. With like CC, it's like, there's a lot going on, but it's not like that fucking much, man, you know? Like, you can keep it all in your head and... It's very focused, like... You can kind of keep the entire thing in your head and work with it. Hey, Garage, yeah. there's just... The boundaries are, like, totally open. Maybe Neko even more so. The secondary last. Thank you, sir. How much happening? I just mean like the possibilities and shit. Extra stuff is unsolvable. Mm. I feel like in Imaneco some stuff is definitely not feasibly solvable. Yeah. Umineko is like on that end of the spectrum that's just like ridiculous. I mean, I know spoilers and I'm pretty sure that the ones I know are like absolutely sure now, weren't like fake or anything. I'm pretty sure. But without um not sure I would have come to the same conclusion on one of these spoilers. I think I would still have like leaned in that direction because of some phrasing. I don't know. Yeah. I just let these dogs out. Who? These dogs. Who? I just let you out of your cage, man. Go pee. Let the dogs out. The fucking bow wow boys or whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, 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 yum, 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 yum. I don't know. I don't know how to compare it to that. Uh, maybe it's just my interest and. Maybe I'm. Taking my, like, you know, greater interest in the mystery of Chaos Child and making it seem like there was more things to think about. I think I was just more interested in it, so I thought about more stuff. Hey, Garashi, I was like, dude, I'm thinking of, like, 20 fucking things at once, wow. Hey, Garashi's like, I'm thinking of stuff, but I don't know. Stuff going on in Hey, Garashi, and then I got to this part, and I was like, wait, there's actually not that much stuff. Yeah, that's kind of, I think that's why maybe the mystery reveal is kind of, like, underwhelming. It's really not anything way out there. Oh. Yeah. Well, scrap what I said. Though. I'm trying to just think of what I'm not. I'm just mixing up my interest in the events with how complicated the mystery is. I think in this, the possibility is really interesting, and he put in a lot of theories that really could easily work. I think it was pretty, like, intricately woven together. But then by the time you get to the payoff, it's kind of like, not too 
explosively crazy. Because it's just kind of already stuff that you figure is happening. Like, it's still entertaining, but I don't know. The build up definitely seems a bit better than the payoff, mystery wise. I mean, this is still cool, but. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's cool learning about all the past shit and stuff here. It's not like Rude Double where it gets boring, you know? That's why she kills herself. Her fucking religious mindset is turned on its fucking head, man. <laughs> ah. How can I explain that to our ancestors? Well, they're dead, so you don't really have to. It's pretty easy. I feel like she's going to kill him or something, dude. She's gonna go L5, baby. They said they never found her body when she walked into the swamp, so it's like, they probably just jacked her, dude. How did he see all this shit, dude? Man, is fucking on the inside. My tummy rumbling. The anger. He calls to me. This is where he's wrong, thinking that they're doing it to help them. I mean, Eerie probably wants to help them, but... They want to create some fucking nuclear weapons type of shit, baby. How do they handle this part in the anime? I assume they adapted a different ending, like I heard about. I don't see this part working out very well, like the fragments shit. Like I said, it makes me wonder how the alternate ending is, because it probably just ditches the fragment shit. I wonder what it really does. Maybe it doesn't, but I don't see what it would do then.
Okay. Please don't interrupt the stream. Yeah, I don't really get it, because this explains all the details. Maybe they assume that you've just read the original, so they don't need to explain details, so they just make like a different set of events to like... I mean, this whole episode's supposed to be them like... in another line, like finally breaking free. I mean, maybe it's just like the events go down totally different. Maybe it like, doesn't work out, I don't know. I don't know how this ends, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe the alternate ending is like after that part. Who knows? Fuck up. Now shut that window, man. Bloody think he hard, man. But he's a bitch. All bark. No bite. I you've been outside for like 30 minutes. <laughs> it's like fucking freezing outside. The madness. This bitch's mom seems really annoying, man. Wake up, wake up! On you, I was distracted by dogs. How do they explain the Han Yu ship? I mean, I know about her being the parasite leader thing, but I don't know how that explains the fragments or nothing. The Han Yu ship. Maybe that's spiritual. Oh, it's Hanya. <laughs> She's breaking in, dude. Like, you can't know the truth. Mm -hmm. Is this where they're gonna make the the order thirty four bullshit? 
pamphlet deal, yo. Playing in me neck, huh, bud? Not at the moment. Faster. <sighs> my client, the Alphabet Project. I want to see more Okanogi or whatever his name is. <clears throat> Saw one sprite. For like a second. Uh, what? What happened? Uh, Are you okay? Uh, Are you okay? Is that... Finally. Is that what? Uh, no. Let me spooky as fuck, man. Let me dies on the mic. I just had a fucking heart attack right here and died on camera. That'd be really fucking spooky. Could happen, man. What suck though? Ah, he's alive, dude. What's wrong? Ah.
<laughs> Don't talk shit about me, man. Your fucking list here. Are you alright, man? Oh yeah. Figured you already had Swapper. I'm surprised you didn't ask for it. I don't even know if I do. I'll give you Vanquish if you just want, but I don't think you'll like it. I probably won't if you really don't want the extra fluff. I mean, I don't like any of it, so... Zoo. Maybe. Uh. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh. Why are you so defeated, man? Did you lose something, man? Are you hating the music? Like all these s fucking substances we secrete here, in, apparently in Higurashi. How many fucking bazillions of chemicals are we secreting, man? Jesus. I guess they're just gonna reproduce that. Is this punished Rika or is this original timeline Rika man? Drill a hole in her head. Yeah. Good. Oh. Suck the anime right out. <laughs> Let me drill a hole in your head, bud. If it's <sighs> as empty as I think. Then. I'll be sick. Policia! <laughs> By the way, we're gonna drill a hole in your daughter's head, yeah. Yahoo! Because I was eating dinner, you know, I just casually dropped that. Just keep moving on. I'm sure her crazed mother will be totally fine. But luckily, they're gonna die, so he doesn't need permission. The utter madman. At least he wasn't drilling a hole in her vagina with a dick. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Why would you need to drill a hole? Smooth a like hole. a doll. A shmoo. Ow, ow. Oh, I just punched the mic. 
Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Honey is a fucking dog. So, she's gonna kill him because he agrees to this head drill shit. No, no, no. Are you spoiling me? No. And did you just... Surely no. Surely you didn't just spoil me. <laughs> no, no. She would never do that. I'll save Rika-san, and the villagers, I promise. Okay. Maniacal laughter. Spooky <laughs> music. Song's almost like Silent Hill. Surprised it takes them all the way to episode 8 to start using it though, and it's pretty good. Surprised it took Rika a hundred fucking years to not be stupid. In fact, you could even be friends with Keiichi, it means you have to have a base level of retardation. A high base. I just don't get how she couldn't figure it out when she knows all of this right now. Like all she needs is an inkling of doubt against Takano. Do you understand Takano's complex motives? And she's got high willpower. That means it's really hard to figure out the mystery because it always works out for her. Complex. Complex willpower. Yahoo! Asshole power. Okay, fast though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking drop the hot big question. Oof. Get me Are hot you ready? heavy, man. Let's go. Here it goes. Uh. Why the fuck uh. did Takano give Rena all those notebooks? Why did she even write them?
Because if he didn't make that many, then you wouldn't have doubted the story he made about the parasites. Uh, oh wait, it has to make sense. Easy, Ryuki, she's a hack, man. <laughs> Got it. I mean, with the books, I feel like it's all just something to set people off, to go crazy, like cause more L5 patients. But, but why, why make really that many? On one person. Yeah. Well, she focused, she gave one to Shion in a different timeline. Person, why do you not like take other steps? That's just probably writing. You know, the show we were like giving books to like hundreds of people or something. Maybe I'm retarded. Maybe I am. I mean, I like to think that she's just creating more L5 patients to test on. And then shit goes too crazy, but then she just fucks everybody up anyways, but I still don't know why she does that. But why- she could just use the Parasite book though, you know, with a couple hints of sci-fi. Does she give out multiple? Well, then she would need multiple books. You never see those people like, cross paths with the books or nothing, it's always one person per. So if you're always gonna give it to one person per timeline, why would you have like, 50 fucking books. I almost feel like it's just a writing thing. Like, it couldn't make it not seem believable without having multiple conspiracy theory type of things. If it was just one, then it'd be believable, you know, like, oh. But no, we have to show there's like these ridiculous ones like Caveman and shit, and that way you doubt the one that you have in your hand. I don't think it's like... Makes a whole lot of sense in... in game. She does the exact same actions in all episodes until the doll scene triggers her, the metal wahoo, makes her like the choco. Hmm. So these people all have the books, but they just don't let anybody know. And Rena's the only one so fucking like unloaded that she just tells everybody about it. So she always gets one, but sometimes she gives one to Rena too. Who else got one? Was that it? Cause... She wouldn't need to give one to Rena. I mean, Rena shit, she murders somebody so early, like... That the fucking notebook, like... It's obvious she didn't give her a notebook without the murders. In the episodes where she doesn't murder somebody... She doesn't probably get a book, so it's like still just one person. Unless Takano gives Rena one still just for shits. Even though she didn't kill people and have her huge the art. power to mind hack. Don't fucking mind hack you out of this call. Ah. Yeah, no, I never do that. Mind hack you in an early grave. Friends with Rico. So why does she want them to go crazy anyways? I mean, I'm assuming just because she wants to make more patients to test on. But then she decides to kill everybody in the village also, so it's kind of like, maybe she's just unhinged. I mean, we'll find out. Maybe I don't know. I mean, we haven't really gotten to that. I'm assuming we're talking about this because there aren't answers for that shit. If there is, then don't bother.
gonna drill a hole in their fucking skull. So I'm guessing he's going to have some kind of moral flip out. Maybe they'll cut up Satoshi instead. Peas. Takano. Sleep or something, bub? Uh, what? I'm such a tired man. <laughs> You're tired? Uh, did you not get enough sleep? Uh, How did you stay up playing Padma? I fell asleep around 5. Uh. Tired day then, Mom? Uh. <laughs> I know how that is. What can be done? You're just gonna chill the night then? Or are you not gonna start anything up? I don't know. <laughs> you sound so weak. So vulnerable. Yeah, no, I'm feeling like I want to go to bed. <laughs> I gotta finish this tomorrow. I gotta do enough today to finish tomorrow. Bye, Tom. I'm gonna get coffee. Alright, you'll be alright after some coffee. Oh, God. It's your early pussy rub, man. <laughs> Cheer you up. I don't know if I reply to you fast. I was thinking about what you're saying a lot. Sometimes when I think so much about what somebody says, I forget to actually talk about it. But yeah. Could be. Have you made any more progress in any of your VNs, man? Oh, you've been playing Fade Extra? <coughs> How was that? I'm hoping the anime is a really good adaptation. Because I don't really want to play Fade Extra that much. The gameplay seemed... Alright. I mean, if the story's good enough, I'd play it. I mean, I'm not scared of bad gameplay, but... If I can get just the story, then that'd be great. They're gonna go full Nero Wank? Oh. See, that sucks. I'd rather it be... The full mix that the game probably is, but the Umu waifu sells, man. Speaking of which,
don't know what I'm gonna do with my extra XP. I'm probably just gonna level up all the people that I have interludes for. Let's work on unlocking those. Yo, dude, five cent quartz, baby. One a day, right? Shit, I'm at max right now, dude. I don't have any fucking more slots. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta spend them right now. My second archive's full because of the damn foes. I need to start using my foes on other shit. I might. I should upgrade fucking mash. Most of the game is figuring out who the enemy is by paying attention, answering questions, and investigating. Yeah, I heard that was a thing. Which kind of sucks after Fago and shit. It, like, you kind of know all of them. Like, I was watching a bit of extra. And I was like, well, I already know who all these people are. I like that part of it, because they're always trying to hide their names in the source material. They don't get, like, an advantage. They actually make it a part of the game, which is cool. <laughs> 